Hey pastry puffs, welcome back to Strudel Reviews. It's your girl Strudel and today we are continuing on with Strudel's throwback reviews. Episode 2 would be the Witty Toys Winx Club My Fairy, the Winx My Fairy Friend Sirenix Fairy Stella. Stella! <laughs> Stella! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so much fun to say your name like that. Um, <coughs> this is an eight screening, as we had been over in yesterday's review with Bloom. Go check it out. Um, she, uh, I got the Bloom and the Stella from this set. I was, a, I was very lucky, and I was able to get them at my local Ollie's right around, like, right before Christmas time. Very much, like, right before Christmas time, but, like, my area never got the flora so i had finally found the flora off a certain facebook uh, <laughs> a certain social media marketplace i mean because we all know like where i found like snowlicious and uh, i'm trying to look Snowlicious, Jukebox BB, and Crystal Star, to name a few, I've gotten off of that webs. I've gotten off of that marketplace, and I was very lucky to find the flora to complete off the set because I needed the flora. Because do you know how difficult wing stalls are to get here in America? <clears throat> uh, anyway, into the, her review. As you can see, she's got like these pretty light brown eyebrows, which. Blooms were a dark brown and I believe a little thicker. I will have to show, I will have to take her down off the shelf just to compare the faces at the end of this. And then you can tell she's got like the similar little like pale makeup, like same pale pink makeup with the same like dusted glitter eyeshadow. But she has brown eyes, but instead of her eyes being... <laughs> I'm sorry, Stella. Yesterday I hit Bloom in the face and today you almost fly off the shelf, literally. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Bloom has blue eyes, Stella has brown, and then they got the same pinky lipstick, which is very reminiscent of a particular... Of another brand of doll that I have in the closet that is going to be later on this week, and we will get into more details of that. And then you can tell she's got this same exact dress that Bloom does, but instead of the instead of the one shoulder being on this side, it is on the opposite side, and her blanket material top part of the dress is in orange instead of blue and then she's got the same material tutu but with this dark purple like with this uh lavenderish purple and then this hot pink tutu and then her leggings are a lighter orange with like purple scale print on them and then if we look at her boots, Mama, they are a clear purple material with the same fins. Literally all the boot molds are the same. And then like the articulation, as we'll get into that, you can tell like she'll, her head will move side to side, but not up and down as it's not on a ball joint. And then she's got non-articulated arms. For whatever reason, because usually witty toys, they will have, like, wire in the arms where you can bend them at the elbows. But they will have the articulated knees because I forgot to mention that the new witty dolls are very reminiscent of the Jack Pacific dolls that we got here in America back during the... When Nickelodeon had the airing... had the co-production slash airing rights of... Winx Club here in North America, and Jack Pacific had the licensing to make the dolls. So that's probably why, like, the bodies and stuff look pretty similar with the Woody toys. And the wing mechanism, as we will see here, you can see there's a little plastic thingy and, like, some holders for the actual wings, and the wings 
are a clear like window box plastic. Literally the exact same wing desi design as Bloom, but instead of the glitter outlining being the blue color, Stella's is the gold. And then her hair is in the exact same high ponytail, but her hair is like a platinumish blonde with a darker purple streak in the same side bangs. Which mm, is expected to happen. And then she comes with the exact same star brush, starfish brush. Same exact starfish. Bleh, same exact starfish brush. As Bloom, but hers is purple. Like this really lavendery shade. And then, like, y'all know, like the usually in the show, like, yes, I'm aware, Stella's dolls usually give her like a more platinum blonde look. When really, for a lot of Stella's like transformations, like Charmic. Like, the base, like, the very first season one, the normal fairy form, as, like, Nickelodeon had dubbed that the Charmix, even though, like, us four kids viewers know the Charmix power is the one where they got the little charms on the top of their outfits, and then they got these little purse thingies to go either around their waist or over their shoulders, which, like, were so cute, mama. But we all know, like, Stella's, like, hair color in the show is not a platinum blonde, but it is more of, like, a golden yellow blondy color. And then the hair color that Stella has here is the hair color that they use for Daphne when they bring her back to, like, I'm sorry, not bring her back to, like, when they make her corporeal again at the end of season five, which... We all know yesterday I was very upset that they give Musa a wish. That is, like, one of, like, the two biggest things. That is, like, one of the two biggest things about this show that I'm, like, really salty about. The other one being the fact that they killed off Naboo. Even though the original Cinnaloom dub of season 4 said he was supposed to be comatose. But no, Nickelodeon was like, let's make him dead. But, it, it, oh, th th that, you see what makes me mad there? They can say that Naboo can be dead, but yet, like, Daphne, like, is canonically confirmed to be, like, quote-unquote, deceased. They managed to figure out some kind of loophole and be like, oh, she was cursed by Sirenix, so she's not really dead. Like, I excuse me? Excuse me? Who are you? I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, um, hold on, let me get Bloom down real quick so I can show y'all what I mean. Yeah, there. There's Bloom and Stella together. You can tell Bloom's eyebrows are, like, lightest I'm sorry I still haven't washed her hair <laughs> you can tell Bloom's eyebrows are just like the slightest bit thicker than Stella's and then you can tell what I mean by the mirror image dress like you yes thank you Bloom you can go away now <laughs> okay I got her um let's see where was I Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I also forgot to mention, quick disclaimer, I am, like, 99% sure, as, like, I've seen pictures of Musa, Tekna, and Aisha from the Winx, my fairy friend Sirenix line, even though I'm pretty sure they have the original, like, season 1 to 7, also season 9 artwork, because thankfully season 9 went back to the artwork we all know and love and we don't talk about season eight is the only season of Winx that I haven't seen but there were Winx dolls in America so I was going to take my opportunity to get them because they are so difficult to get here in the states um but that's another issue for another time um, but the outfits are literally the same exact ones, like, 
the wings are the same exact ones that they used for season five as like looking at the images of Technomisa and Aisha they tend to have they all have the same like dress material like the same tutu material the same like china leggings and the same see-through shoes so like the only differences are that bloom stella and flora got re-released with season eight faces and to my limited research because like it is very difficult to get wing stalls here in america specifically techna and musa dolls because like for whatever reason, Tecna and Musa are always made, like, in lesser quality, lesser quality, lesser quantities than the other four. And, like, y'all know I was very, very salty at the fact that Jack's Pacific, when they aired the Harmonix Dolls commercial, they had Tecna and Musa in that commercial, but they never released their dolls. Was I salty about that? Yes. Will I be forever salty about that? Yes. Because believe it or not, Tecna and Musa, like, as an adult, are my favorite. Like, as an adult, Tecna and Musa are my favorite characters. And when I was a kid, Bloom and Stella were my favorite characters. But, like, going back and watching the show as an adult made me kind of realize, like, yeah, what did I see in those two being my favorite characters? When, like, Tecna and Musa are so much cooler. And then I think I'm gonna give third place to Flora, because, like, I've always been a little impartial to Flora, because I love her name, and I love the fact that she's, like, the fairy of nature. She's so, like, gorgeous. I love Flora. Ugh, I, I stand Flora. And then, um... Aisha's, like, right behind her because, like, of how, like, insanely sporty and everything she is. And then Stella is, like, right behind her with the exquisite taste in fashion that she has. Because, let's be honest, those season five sailor outfits slapped, like, literally eight and left no crumbs. And then, like, the designs of, even though Stella didn't really design them, but the, can we talk about the season six goth ball outfits? Because I know we don't really like to talk about season six, but them goth ball outfits. The steampunk vampire realness aesthetic. Yes. I love it. <laughs> um, the school uniforms were not it, though. Let's be honest, season five was literally the last season where the Winx had any sliver of individuality. Like, street clothes-wise. And although, like, their transformation scenes, like, Tecna had martial arts, Musa had breakdancing. Uh, so they still had, like, little individual things about each of the Winx. But, and then after that, they decided to, like, make them all uniform, which was not what made Winx iconic. So, yeah, there's that. And also, my Stella's leg, this one, was a little loose when I first took it out of, took her out of the box. Because, like, again, she had been in the box for, like, a millennia. And I think she's got a pretty good face. Yeah. She looks like she's got a pretty good face to me. And expect to see Bloom, Stella, and Flora as, you know, that's tomorrow's review. Expect to see them, like, throughout the week as, like, you'll see what I mean if you haven't seen my TikToks. <laughs> um, I think I really had to say what I had to say about the Winks my the Winx Sirenics, my very friends. Even though I'm, like, incredibly late to the party, I hope you all enjoyed this. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!